Yes, uh, welcome. Uh, on, be on behalf of National Science Day 2021, we shall have a short discussion, okay? I mean, a kind of interaction. One of my professors used to tell me this story actually when, uh, when I was in MSc. Uh, I hope you might have heard about Sir M. Vishweshwaraya. Sir M. Vishweshwaraya. Uh, again, we celebrate uh, Engineering Day, National Engineering Day, on, on behalf of his birthday, I think. I think uh, September 15th or something. Uh, yes, again, uh, Sir M. Vishweshwaraya was Diwan of uh, uh, Mysore em uh, Empire actually, very, very long back in 1900 uh, time. Uh, he was uh, he was an uh, engineer. He was an engineer, and uh, he contributed a lot. You have to search about him. Uh, uh, again, uh, at that time, again at that time, uh, so during the time of uh, uh, what you call invention of Raman uh, effect and all, uh, Sir M. Vishweshwaraya met C. V. Raman, and uh, uh, again in that meeting, Raman explained uh, uh, whatever the experiment that he has done. Again, he just. Uh, uh, article he introduced all experiment that he is conducting in, in his lab and all. Uh, after this meeting, after all meeting, uh, after this meeting, while going back, Sir M. Vishweshwaraya uh, told Raman that, uh, again, Mr. Raman, you do something which is helpful for people. And uh, because Sir M. Vishweshwaraya was a Diwan, he was in the very responsible position. He obviously, all governments also think in the same manner. Uh, if we see uh, again a couple of years back, uh, central government is also asking the same thing, isn't it? To productive research and all, which is helpful for people and all. And uh, Sir M. Vishweshwaraya was very uh, towards, uh, I mean, he is very much uh, towards people and growth of the country and all. So that's why he, he was expecting that there, So there was no, uh, what you call, uh, mistake in that one. Uh, Raman was quite mad about Sir M. Vishweshwaraya. He, he might have thought that he is always like that. Uh, this person is always like that. Sir M. Vishweshwaraya, he is always like that. Uh, soon after the invention of Raman effect, there was not much application. I, I hope you might have, uh, uh, you, you know something about Raman effect. The Stokes and anti-Stokes lines are uh, around 10 to the power 6 to 8 order less intense than uh, uh, your relay line actually. They are very difficult to detect. Uh, usually in the very uh, earlier days, they, they use photographic plate. They expose photographic plate for a long time and then they detected those lines and they, then they detected Raman shift. Uh, and later I think they might have used uh, 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 what is the photo multiplier tube because it was so intense that you again detection of Raman lines, stroke and anti-stroke lines were very difficult. Obviously, you can characterize any sample. Uh, it was the one of the best method, isn't it? Again, uh, uh, even though uh, uh, the molecule need not have permanent dipole moment, you can study those kind of molecule, isn't it? Lot of uh, advantages were there. Uh, so, because of that, Raman got Nobel Prize in, I think, 1930, isn't it? Uh, at that time, there was not much uh, application. Uh, I mean, uh, and, and there was not uh, much, what you call, uh, how to say, commercial grade Raman instruments actually. Uh, again, from 1930, 1928 to up to 1960, there was no commercial grade Raman instruments because uh, obviously it was uh, kind of uh, prism grating and uh, source. They used, I think, uh, mercury source. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they, uh, it was, again, they, they used to build that one in lab. They used to set up that one in lab. But after 1960, after uh, invention of laser, I think in 1960 to 1965, uh, this Raman effect got, uh, I mean, uh, uh, got more, uh, uh, what you call, application because uh, laser, we can have, again, very high intensity using laser and uh, uh, again, by that time, lot of detectors were also developed, very good, what you call, uh, uh, photon, uh, I mean, light detectors were also developed. So, by that time, uh, Raman effect got again lot of application actually in our lab and uh, and uh, at that time after invention of laser uh, uh, we, we call it as laser Raman spectroscopy uh, that was uh, started again lot of uh, companies uh, again not none of them are from India they started developing uh, commercial grade Raman instruments now at this time, suppose if you are, if you are, if you have seen any Raman instrument in any of the top institute in our India, they are not made in India. They are either made in Japan, US, or any other 
European country. Yeah, so definitely we are very proud to say that Raman effect is invented by person from India, again, who, 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 who is a citizen of India, isn't it? Uh, yeah, because we, we have a lot of Nobel Prizes, uh, again, which, are, which have been taken, not, uh, not, again, by Indian origin people, but not with the Indian citizenship, actually. That's also very important. And one more thing that we have to notice that, at that time, uh, India was ruled by British. People usually uh, uh, have not taken Indians that seriously, actually. Mm -hmm. It was very different age. Uh, but what I'm thinking is, now we are spending, uh, if you want to have good Raman spectroscopes, you need to spend crores of rupees, actually. Again, now, uh, again, uh, whatever the commercial grade Raman spectroscopes, we are spending crores of rupees to, again, in, in, in every university, in every institute, mm -hmm. they are spending crores of rupees to purchase that one, to maintain that one. And none of them, I hope, I hope, none of them are made in India, as, uh, as far as my knowledge is concerned. None of them are made in India. All top Raman spectroscopes are either made in Japan or uh, uh, any, any other country. Uh, what I'm thinking is, I think uh, 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 Sir M. Mishweshwara died at 1962, uh, I think of the age around 100 actually. Uh, at the time when uh, Raman spectroscopy was touching industry, uh, if uh, Vishweshwaraya was there, he would have initiated some industry. Because I'll, I'll talk about you may not know much about Saram Vishweshwaraya. He initiated iron uh, industry in Badravati, in, in Karnataka, around 1913, uh, sorry, 1920, around 1920. At that time, they produced iron here. Uh, which when exported to America, it was cheaper than the iron which is manufactured in America actually. Uh, and they were uh, of that, that much, uh, they, he, ha he have got that much insight, so that much uh, uh, vision actually. He, he was very, uh, uh, very, very well known engineer here. And uh, he developed that uh, first, I think that was the first iron factory in South Asia actually. Uh, which, which, which produced a large amount of iron. Uh, again, if that person, uh, what you call, if, if he was active uh, when Raman effect was touching, uh, what you call, application, I think he would have initiated, uh, uh, what you call, some industry or something. Because, again, the, again we, we should feel proud and we should celebrate, uh, uh, what you call, the invention of Raman effect. Obviously, the uh, it's, it's a kind of milestone in the in the in the history of that uh, physics, isn't it? Uh, but along with that, whenever that is touching application, whenever the invention which is touching application or industry, we are almost sleeping. Now again, we 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 are a big market. We 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 are never uh, we 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 have never been uh, uh, what you call manufacturer, core manufacturer. Even though you you may see some Indian instruments. But they are assembled in India, not manufactured actually in the in the in the core manner. So what I am uh, trying to say here is, whenever the uh, what you call a lot of inventions are there. Again, uh, it's it's very easy to understand, am I right? Again, uh, again, you, you 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 can get convinced with the theory behind that one. You can get convinced with the experiment and all. Whenever that is touching the uh, what you call application, we are not initiating anything because of our mindset actually. Now again. Uh, along with celebrating this National Science Day, what I wish to say is, uh, again, we should have a quality of Raman as well as Sir M. Vishweshwaraya. Again, we should have a quality that we should be very curious, we should, uh, uh, we should be very curious to understand a basic thing and uh, we should be uh, very curious to invent, discover something. Along with that, whenever it is touching a what you call application, we should in initiate some industrial uh, part and 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 because because that is our again we should have a vision like uh, Sir M. Vishweshwaraya we should have an enthusiasm like uh, uh, Sir C. V. Raman like that again we should have a both quality then only again it will progress because uh, it's, it's very unfortunate that again how many of you knew that uh, again being a pure science background how many of you knew that we are celebrating uh, what you call Engineers Day uh, again uh, in the uh, in the name of uh, Sarah Mishweshwaraya, none of us, I, I hope, those who have done B.Sc. and M.Sc., uh, we, we seriously don't know who is Sarah Mishweshwaraya. Again, uh, again, since I am from Karnataka, I, I, I knew him because 
in our uh, school text it was there that's why i uh, i knew him i i never knew that we are celebrating engineer uh, i mean engineers day like that uh, on behalf of his uh, uh, article uh, contribution uh, so it's it's, it's quite uh, uh, sad that we are, we don't have both quality we we have engineering call we have, we we are producing lot of engineers no doubt we are producing lot of scientists but we we don't have what you call uh, we we don't have much entrepreneurs here mm. uh, who can take that one to uh, industry or who can who can club both and proceed that one obviously that's a very new path again you can't say that you, you, have, you can go in this way and all but we don't have again what i'm saying is uh, yeah so still we are very proud of raman effect but none of the raman instruments are made in india again i feel very bad because of that now actually i i am not suggesting that one of you should start raman uh, instrument or spectroscopic instrument industry or something what i am saying is we should have a mindset at least we should change our mindset whenever uh, what to call any discovery which is touching application uh, or any progressive research which is touching application we should be very alert and we should try to take it to uh, what to call industry and all again uh, any again uh, other people investors cannot think like that they cannot have a vision actually they can invest actually uh, again pure scientist he can also he, he will never think of industry isn't it engineers again who haven't studied very basic physics they will never think about this again taking some uh, basic uh, uh, what you call invention to application we have a lot of gap actually it is quite sad that we are we are uh, we are celebrating science day and engineering day separately because again if we if we keep on doing that one we will become a big market we will 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 be keep on uh, so becoming a big market not a, what you call manufacturer actually so that's why uh, the theme of this national science day 2021 so that is science technology and innovation we know science okay we know science we know technology both are again uh, again uh, now again it's a kind of free source you can learn science you can learn technology but what about innovation we never thought of innovation because most of us are running towards job actually because we have been taught that our job is to get a job our job is to get another job again we will never think out of it because uh, again this is the this is a very basic problem because our parents lived in the age of job if they had one job it their their life was settled actually now again uh, we have a very different scenario here again so that's why we never think of innovation we know science we know technology we never think of innovation because innovation comes when you, when you start taking that one to industry or when you start manufacturing or when you start competing the what you call ongoing business in the in the world isn't it so there we need to work on that one we know science we know technology we have to innovate uh, something or, or you can you can you can you can innovate at the what you call ongoing uh, uh, products and you can uh, uh you can grow them or if if there is any new article invention or something you can touch that one to technology and uh, again you can you can you can innovate and you can take that one to market so i i mean uh, when 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 we industrialize that one when we ind- industrialize uh, suppose if 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 top raman instrument sellers were from india i think uh, i would be very happy to say that raman effect is invented by a person from india again we we have again look at here there are lot of progressive research in raman effect actually we have laser raman spectroscopy uh, fourier transform ft uh, so raman spectroscopy and we have uh, some coherence uh, uh, so raman spectroscopy and we have microscopy using raman effect actually uh, lot of uh, progressive research happened on raman effect most of them not done by indians actually again while while we again while we are feeling proud uh, again uh, but but we are not concentrating to what you call propagate that one am i right again we 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 haven't done any progressive research on raman effect uh, again those progressive research are not originated from india somebody else have done we haven't uh, industrialized the what you call uh, uh, that that raman instrument actually so again in in some sense whatever we are celebrating that that's not worth what we are doing right now uh, we should change our mindset again uh, we again we should stop relying on 
government we we always think that government should provide a job isn't it it's all our mindset we can create job actually if you know science if you know technology you can innovate and you can you can you can you can start a startup so that you can create job lot of jobs actually so i think if we think in that way that would be more productive a celebration of national science day if happy national science day and uh, so along with the uh, learning science and technology think about innovation and uh, uh, industrialization uh, so happy science day